السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحمده ونسلي على رسوله الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الذي أسرى بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام إلى المسجد الأقصى الذي باركنا حوله لنريه من آياتنا إنه هو السميع البصير all praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that today on this great day of Jumu'ah just like a how on a Friday and as it is coming to the last week of this month of Rajab we are reminded that Rajab is from the Ashur al-Hurum from those months which are sacred and sanctified Whenever the month of Rajab sets in, there is always the view from the many of the opinions of the occurrence of that great miraculous journey of the Prophet ﷺ from Masjid Haram to Masjid Al-Aqsa. So it is important at the same time that we try to rekindle and connect, and connect ourselves with a very special location, Al-Aqsa, Masjid Al-Aqsa, which is in Al-Quds in Jerusalem, is our first Qibla. It is the second Masjid and it is the third most holiest site. So many Ahadith speak about the virtue and fadila of Al-Aqsa, but at the same time, when we look at the number of years how many major attacks, even if you take since 1967, in 1969, Al-Aqsa Mosque set on fire, entire south wing burnt down, including the precious pulpit, the member of Nuruddin, which was commissioned 700 years ago, installed by the great Muslim hero Salahuddin Al-Ayyubi. Now when you think about the so many different attacks, major attacks, then is it not that right now as we, in this year 2022, <clears throat> since 1967, right up until today, that this masjid is still under occupation. And if the masjid is under occupation, then you and I have a responsibility and duty to protect and safeguard and to create awareness and to ensure that we keep on reminding our children, reminding ourselves of the importance of the visitation of Al-Aqsa. And not only that, if you go to Surat Al-Isra, verse number one, سبحان الذي أسرى بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام إلى المسجد الأقصى. مسجد الأقصى is mentioned by name in the Quran. مسجد الأقصى. If this is the only verse in the Quran that speaks about the Al-Aqsa, leave alone the other ahadith. Only this one verse. If meaning if there was only mention about the Al-Aqsa in the Quran, Surah Al-Isra, verse number one then it's sufficient for every believer to have a special attachment and love for Masjid Al-Aqsa. And by the way, this Qur'an is dating back to 1794. You see, there was a time, the Dutch colonization of the Far East, there was this great Qadi, Imam, uh, Abdullah ibn Qadi ibn Abdul Salam, also known as Tu'an Guru, he was banished to Robben Island, banished to South Africa, and he was in the prison in Robben Island. Nine, 1794, so he was released, and when he was released before, the first thing we learned that Tu'an Guru, probably after his release in 1793, he wrote the Quran from memory and this is his handwriting a manuscript this is a copy of the original manuscript which was given to me alhamdulillah I visited the Masjid al-Awwal in Cape Town in South Africa 
Do you know that the first masjid in South Africa in Cape Town, established by meaning to An Guru, that's the name that was given, he's originally Indonesian. This is how far back we go back to the history of Muslim in South Africa, that the first masjid, Masjid al awwal dating back to 1798. A century before, we may know there was Sheikh Yusuf Makassar. So this is how Muslims, how early, far back we can go to understanding of our connection with Islam, despite those difficult conditions, despite those challenging times, they were still able to flourish. And here we are in this Masjid al-Awwal, 1794, there in Al-Aqsa, which is our first Qibla and second Masjid. So when we speak about the first Masjid in Islam, which is it? Masjid al-Haram. When you speak about the second Masjid in Islam, it is Masjid al-Aqsa. Abu Dhar radiallahu anhu, when he asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the hadith which is on his authority, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked which was the first Masjid, he said Masjid al-Haram. Which was the second one? He said Masjid al-Aqsa. And what was the time span between the two? He says 40. So 40 years. So what it means simply is that our connection with al Masjid al-Aqsa is dating back not from the journey of Isra and Mi'raj. Because we read in the journey of Isra and Mi'raj and then we feel that this was our time of our connection. Or we think that it was from the time of when Amir al-Mu'minin Umar ibn Khattab went from Medina to Jerusalem and then we say that it was conquered and taken over from the Christians. It's not even from that time in the 15th year after Hijra. Or then we say it was in the time of Salahuddin al-Ayyubi after the 88 years of Crusaders, not in the time of 1187, meaning from 1099 right until 1187, 88 years Muslim Aqsa was in the hands of the Crusaders. That is not where our connection is. Been from 1187 right up until 1967, can you imagine? This masjid is in the hands of the Muslim Ummah. So since 1967 till today, it's under occupation. Woman azlamu mimma mana'a masajid Allah. That whenever the Israelis or the Zionists and those when they want to deny you access to this masjid, this is the greatest form of zulm and oppression. From the many types of zulm and oppression that we see in the world, Today we speak and we see what's happening when Russia invades Ukraine, how there is a worldwide uproar. And we see what happens when these things happen, when people, how many a times we've seen millions of Muslims that were killed, the land of Sham, what happened in Iraq, all these, we cannot forget that there is so much of zulm and oppression in the world, but also from the another great zulm and oppression is when people are denied access inside the masajid, the houses of Allah. This masjid is in danger. Time doesn't permit to elaborate, but we want to remind you very again that just what has happened to Masjid Ibrahim in Al Khalil in Al Hebron, where Ibrahim is buried. Today they have made taqseem of Masjid Al Aqsa, it's called Zamani. Taqseem meaning they have divided it, they have actually have exca excavations and tunnels running underneath Al-Aqsa. On the western side, the western wall, there is the tunnel. But remember, at the same time, Zamani means they are allowing the settlers every day from Bab al-Maghariba to enter the masjid. Every day, morning and afternoon. And if this continues, a time will come, they will say Muslims not allowed to enter the masjid. Now it's only for the Zionists or the settlers and those who are claiming this masjid belong. Anyway, the discussion is long. We would love to continue the discussion on Tuesday after the Isha Salah, highlighting the journey of Isra and Mi'raj uh, after the Isha Salah. And to conclude, that let's at least for, for now think and pray and make dua that Allah Ta'ala protect this masjid which is our first qibla. It is the second masjid in Islam from the time of Adam alayhi salam, 40 years after the first house is Masjid al-Aqsa and it is the third most holiest site. May Allah Ta'ala accept, may Allah make it easy for all of us. Inshallah, very important announcement now.
Francis is a salam like